We're back. Sports Unplugged. I love it, man. We did a whole segment on the WNBA, man. We're going to get a sponsorship from them, dog. We're going to talk about the WNBA. This is going to be a good season. I'm going to watch it. I'm excited. They play over the summer, right? That'll take us into football, man. Come on, man. Mm. Updates. And we're going to get Swin Cash in here. You know what I'm saying? Shoot mm. a shot. G. You know what I'm saying? Take the boot to the basketball mm. court. That would be love to have be somebody you could take to the court and whoop cats. Anyway. Mm. College basketball, of course, season is over. Louisville champs. On the men's side, Connecticut, back to their old habits, uh, their champs on the women's side. Uh, draft, Kentucky, a lot of the guys leaving. Archie Goodwin says, I'm out of here. Knows the Harrison twins are coming. He wasn't going to get any tick. And uh, Noel Nerlens, mm-hmm. off a torn ACL, right. is taking a shot at the league. Now, you say he's number one with a bullet. I said, yeah, I said that. he's got some smart people around him that said, hey, this might qu- quite possibly be the worst draft in the history of college basketball. Right. So, And we have that like every other year, don't we? So it doesn't can, seem like that. We have the worst that's draft. That's why college game. basketball needs to change the rule and make guys stay. Ah, 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 ah. Make them stay. Ah. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, Noel Netherlands is coming out, and he's going to be number one. Yeah. Coming off of ACL. How bad is the game of college basketball where somebody who who stats were weren't super dominant like no. like uh, the unibrow was uh-huh. tears his ACL and still goes number one well, off the, potential. I, a friend told me something about Noel, Noel is that he brings two things that transfer well from college basketball to the NBA: defense and rebounding. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He we we all know he does those two things pretty well, mm-hmm. and he gets some put back put backs and then some alley oop dunks mm-hmm. and you know there you go that's all you really need to have and and, and you look at Andre Drummond people didn't think he was going to be a, uh, anything right now and, and he's shown that his defense and his rebounding translated and his high motor they know New Orleans is, is a hoppy uh, high motor guy so they say you know we can we can almost claim that this is the guy safest pick out of this draft but didn't Davis that's why he's number one wasn't Davis the same thing defense and rebounding mm-hmm. and He's not in the running for rookie of the year. What? Nah, I don't think he is. You don't think he who's is? The, who's the rookie of the year? Can we, who's the that's another the segment. Who's the rookie no, of the year? No, no, we're not, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Nah, it's coming up later. What I'm Stop. saying is, Noel Noel Nerlens has not been as dominant in college basketball as the unibrow. Uh-huh. And for him to go number one, all this tells me is that this draft sucks. Mm-hmm. I don't get nothing else from it. I'm not looking at Noel's upside because you had nothing to grade him against. Right. Because he hadn't played a full season. And you're going to tell me, not to mention, he's coming back from an ACL injury. Mm-hmm. He's already frail in the body. Mm-hmm. He's not a big guy. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. This is a project. This could turn out to be a Jermaine O'Neal project, or it could be a roll of dice and I hit it. But I think either way it goes, it's a risk. It is a risk. This is should be the first uh, time. This should be hey, the first man. time in history that you don't have a number one. It's just like all. Oh, Anytime you you draft the number one player with an ACL injury, it's going to be a risk. Yes, just kind of like when Kenyon Martin came into the league and he went with number the broke one leg. with a broke leg. Right. Um, and he had an average career. Just at just think about a couple years ago when they drafted Kyrie Irving. Eleven eleven games played in in college. Had a couple injuries in college, and then he's kind of no, injury no. prone right now. Right. But the thing is, you know you. You you could tell that he was the best player in that draft, even though they tried to make the argument well, he about played eleven Williams. games, eleven games in college basketball. Yeah, that's what I said, and I couldn't believe that either. But once again, too, we're talking about the perimeter player, a guy that plays out on the outside. I know, but then you don't teach size. You always go with the big man. They still have that mentality in, in the league. Um, looking over to some of the players that that have announced that they're going, you have. Uh, um, Shabazz, who has a grown man's game, and I, also I like to call 20, a little bit of a wreck game of uh, myself. Dantley yeah, game. <laughs> right, a little bit of a wreck game and right there. Imagine he's twenty-seven. How old is this guy? <laughs> we don't know how old he is. Uh, he's like, oh, you see, I, I knew I was nineteen, but I was just going with what they said. I, ain't, I ain't. they said I'm twenty, okay, I'm twenty. You know what that situation was when you when you got <laughs> you know this situation. How old are you, Autumn? I'm four, exactly. <laughs> You want to get this discounted? Right. <laughs> the movie. How old are you? I'm playing for your plan. <laughs> right. You sit in our laps. I'm four. <laughs> I'm four. So that's she's all got, that was. She's got breasts. <laughs> Show your daughter has breasts. 
She falls, she just <laughs> developed in Ireland. <laughs> exactly. It's the chicken. That's all that was. UCLA, the chicken. You're four, Shabazz. It's, all right. It's the chicken. Exactly. Uh, and then you have what? Uh, Otto, uh, so, what was his name? Uh, from Georgetown. He's a, uh, solid, he's, he's a solid player. Um, I mean, it's a lot of underclassmen. Archie Goodwin, Jamal Franklin from San Diego State, who I like his game. Uh huh. Or Gorgie Dang from Louisville. This is one of them drafts. I think. That, look, I'm not gonna say these guys are bums. This is not. This is definitely not that. Trey Burke. Hey man, this is not the uh, Kenyon Martin draft. No, this is not that draft. What that I draft see is, is a bunch awful. of guys who will probably play rotation eight or nine players. Years yes, in the rotation league. players. Rotation players. There's not a starter. Stars. Not, there's not even a starter. There might not even be a starter in 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 this group. I'm telling you, Macklemore. Matt Lamore. Well, not, not I take that back. I think there is a starter here. And you're going to think I'm crazy. But it's just his size. Where is he going to play in the league? Because he's not 6'6". He's only 6'4". Victor Oladipo from Indiana. No. I like him. I like him too. But he just doesn't have the size. Jimmy Butler. A smaller version of Jimmy Butler. Better defense though. Yeah. Smaller version of Jimmy Butler. I think he's off the bench. Energy guy. He's the Tony Allen. Even though Tony Allen's a starter, right? Tony Allen. I don't think he, yeah, he's, he's a Tony Allen. This this draft, is, I just don't see any stars. Nobody no, there isn't. Out there isn't. And the thing is, yeah. in these in, in these kind of drafts right here, you, you you probably get surprised. Somebody might come out of nowhere. I you see know some good names like Mick Cabongo. Yeah, yeah. You know, good marketing stuff. <laughs> but other than that, and what you marketing Cabongo with? Thirty one underclassmen. Because they all know, dog. We have a shot. Yeah, because next year. And and this is what I mean about Bastard. Noel. I, this is what I mean about Noel Nerlens. People were smart because next year you got guys like Wiggins, Walker, who's going to Florida. Mm -hmm. They all gonna be one and done. I, hold now on. you drop tremendous. Real, real, real quick, Kentucky, enjoy this next year coming up. You better pray to God you win the title. That, that you win the title because they all gone. Because they're all gone, and you're gonna have another. You're gonna have another season like this. So you better hope because I don't no, see. They it. might. They might. They might get. An, listen, man, and I. I'm not implying. No, 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 no. What I'm, no, they have another. Calipari has a way of. No, doing no. I mean, no. He had a top class this year too. That and they didn't do nothing. You know has what I'm saying? Has Wiggins declared yet? No, not yet. But the thing what is, if he goes there, it's, uh, I won't watch college basketball. They they need to win a title. They have to win a title. Even though it's five freshmen, you have to win the title. You have to win the title because even with the five freshmen, there's not that many teams out there that's putting up that kind of talent out there. Now, you know, could a, a senior later a laden team come, knock them knock off? Them yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, can. A Butler style team. Yeah, they can. You With know, VCU by got, Shaka Smart. They can. No, no, no. They definitely can. But they would definitely have the most talent in college basketball oh, yeah. by far. Physical talent. Yeah. By far. And the thing is, you know, like you said, next year, you had to get these guys out of here because next year with Wiggins, with uh, the Harrison brothers, with uh, 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 Walker that's going to Florida. The dude uh, going to um, Gordon that's going to, um, yeah. to Arizona. Yeah. Jabari Parker, even though I have a weird feeling saying he's well, not, he's not, I, he's not. It's, it's Chicago. I, I, hate I have a bad feeling. I feel that Jabari Parker is going to stay about three years at Duke. Yeah, but, but he doesn't need, his family doesn't need the money. One, And I think his mindset is. A little different. I'm totally different. He's a little different. Um, so and I think by him staying three years at Duke is not going to make him a good pro player. I think he should do one and done. Get out of there. That's what happened to Sean Dockery. To me, I just I never thought Sean Dockery should have went to Duke. Mm -hmm. He should have either went to Illinois or went somewhere else. Right. But to showcase yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Duke is that system, and you're going to play in that system. Oh yeah, but no the thing, but I, I'll, give, I'll give this to Jabari. That system fits him. Because he's one of those guys like a Grant Hill that's like a five two player. That no, see, I think he's a, a a Paul Pierce type guy. Well, I can get you that too, but I mean, he's a guy that does everything well. And and and, 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 he, and he passes the ball well. He he, he handles the ball. He think basketball IQ is off the charts. I couldn't, I couldn't understand why they moved Andrew Wiggins the one in front of him until I saw Andrew. Wiggins Andrew play. Wiggins is an athletic beast. It's like LeBron. And the can shoot. LeBron. Yeah, six eight to shoot. Can can run. Can dunk. Jabari Parker is like a. Cerebral assassin. Cerebral. He's like a mellow guy. He can score exactly. from anywhere. That is, and ain't gonna play too much defense. That's that's the best. <laughs> that's the best way to compare it. LeBron and, and Melo. That's All the best right. way to compare those. When we two. come back, what we wrapping it up with, man? These um, arguments about these awards in the NBA. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Royce White. Chad is goofy of the year. <laughs> we'll be back. Sports Unplugged. Follow us at Sports Unplugged, man. Subscribe to us. YouTube Sports Unplugged.